Serenity House of Flint is a recovery community organization and we advocate for people in recovery and we provide holistic options for those recovering from substance use disorder, codependency, and trauma. So we partner with either school social workers or counselors. If students are struggling with motivation or self-esteem or if they've lost loved ones and our prevention staff goes in once a week and works with those students using evidence-based curricula. We are engaged in a lot of different types of prevention activities. Um, as a coalition, um, our main purpose is to bring together all sectors of the community to address substance use and mental health uh, related issues. So we are a resource center and what we do is help individuals in recovery with education, job staffing, clothing, food. We have nine houses and inside the center here we educate them. In the last 32 years, LIHC has taken steps to provide for the community in many different ways. The organization has given almost $1.5 million in educational scholarships and programs based on youth development and diversity education. As part of our prevention services, we do offer a gambling prevention program. This gambling prevention program is mostly geared towards the youth and young adults. We were setting up a bunch of events, fundraisers, outreach, and then COVID hit. We didn't have the policies and procedures in place. We didn't really have the programs built in a way that they were able to be moved online. Working in the digital realm of things was probably the biggest challenge. Technological issues, people's internet connection. Just trying to adapt to that new way of doing things was probably the biggest barrier. COVID has affected us because we haven't been able to be with one another as what is detrimental to our recovery. But we've, we've maintained, we've done well. We've been vigilant with social distancing, masks, sterilization. And given the current situation with COVID, we did have to switch to a virtual platform. We've been using uh, popular social media sites such as TikTok and Instagram in order to deliver this information to them. It's nice to have a statewide organization like Prevention Network. I think that they have provided us with um, a, a lot of additional um, resources uh, with the, the Moda Grant and some different types of consultants that you know, work in delivering services, providing consultation into how we can do our work better, more efficiently breaking down some of those barriers and challenges that we have been facing as a result of COVID.